and that's 605, my wife farming, the other one, right there, that's it, come and look over here quick, two men up top here, got him cane, I come, I can't confront them, come on, bring that two weapons here, I'll relieve them first of the weapons I had. That is what they by had yourself? in their car. By yourself? Yeah, by myself. This here is what they had in the car. Okay? I reported to Marty police, I went to the police, and I gave a full statement. And I have no doubt the police will do their duty. I've always done that. But this this, this is why I had to relieve these men up. This is what we got to Okay? I want to show you all something. This is what they teach to carry home. That is what has been destroyed in the process. So when you value that money, $15, $20, they can't wait to get for it. Look at what has been destroyed. Two of us can plant this field. This field was like this here. But when the COVID started, we laid our country needs as much for an exchange as possible. We decided to plot this ground yeah. and plant it. It was, I mean, I had some river tarmen. It was so difficult, it even broke off the plow. But we plowed it. We furred it. We pl he cut the cane plants. The two of us plant them. Turn around, spray it. I sprayed the tractor. He put a knapsack on his back and he sprayed. This is the hard work. Now we come to the crop. And this is what, what we got to fear. How many acres is the ground? This is three acres of ground. Hmm. But this is one of the best field cans I've had since yeah, I don't know when because this, we've tried some different things in here. We're trying to improve the yearly crop. Mm -hmm. And I'm frustrated. Look, there's 40 to 50 years I've been begging, begging, do something with the previous RC. And no government seems to do anything about it. Mm -hmm. You can pass legislation to change the Senate, to rectify the Senate. Where is the legislation to deal with crop theft? We're in a difficult situation now. The Prime Minister quite rightly says we're looking at food security. Quite rightly says so. But this is the biggest disincentive. Don't mind this cane. I used to grow vegetables here. Okay? This field had an acre of cassava. When it was four months old, a man pulled off two rows in four nights. I plowed the field. Four months. Cassava takes six months to grow. They had nothing in them. A former Prime Minister now deceased castigated me at the BAS for plowing up food. But in four nights, he had taken off two rows. Planted sweet potatoes out there. I come in one morning and find a whole heap of sweet potatoes gone. When they get the tape to report the police, half past nine, the man back in ground teething again. Obviously, I can hear the frustration in your voice. Oh, but I, I, know yet. I know you're upset. I know you're upset. Along with him. Along with him. I turn on out, had the irrigation equipment out. Come back and six lengths of my four inch irrigation pipe piece. Well, I, I done it at that point. But if I can't grow nothing. No, it's like plant the whole place in here. We have a market for everything we can produce in here. And I want to make a point very clear. When we export sugar, at least 80% of the foreign exchange comes back to Barbados. 20% goes out and the supplies we need. It is the direct opposite of the hotel industry, the tourist industry. Where as much as 80% or less, let's say, goes back out in foreign exchange and a little bit of foreign exchange stays. It's the direct opposite. But you have to have sugar in rotation if you're growing crops in Barbados. We now have an opportunity, we're now exporting sugar to Walmart in the US. Over thousands of markets in direct branded Barbados sugar. Trinidad. We're now looking at going further with our sugar. Molasses for the industry, the rum industry. And now, life is funny. You got the oil price over $100 a barrel. If we had enough cane that we could produce ethanol, the, the oil companies and Barbados would add 10% of ethanol to the fuel to cut down the cost. So this is a valuable crop. Everybody put the sugar industry. But here it is doing it. And we're in the process now of trying to with the, working with the Prime Minister and the Minister of America to try and re we have a team coming in tomorrow night to evaluate us a very very high 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 technical team who have done this operation in several places we work to help us give us the numbers what we have to do do we need the Portville factory 
Do we need to build a new factory? What do we need to do? And what's it going to cost us? That is what the Prime Minister has set us a goal, and that's what we're going to do. We want this industry to be viable. But I can't continue living like this.